Introducing a search and rescue robot engineer. The robot carries an array of sensors that stream live videos back to disaster management. The chassis of the robot is optimized for negotiating typical obstacles found in urban environments struck by a disaster. The robot is waterproof, dustproof, and is capable of working under rain and snow, in the heat and in the cold. The engineer has a durable, but lightweight metal body, hardened electronics, and a sensors package, all capable of withstanding the stresses and rough treatment during its service life. The robot climbs stairs, this allows it to penetrate buildings in disaster hit areas for damage assessment. The small size of the robot enables it to easily traverse doorways and narrow passages either inside damaged buildings or outdoors. One of unique features of the robot is that it can raise its sensor head. This enables the operator to look inside windows of buildings or parked vehicles, and perform visual inspection of elevated objects. The robot is equipped with a robotic arm, optimized for performing potentially dangerous, but critically important engineering operations remotely, without putting humans in danger. The arm is capable of lifting heavy loads off the ground and carrying them for inspection in a safe location. The arm is a flexible remotely controlled tool that can grasp, push, or pull objects. Door opening is an important task performed by the robotic arm. The engineer is capable of opening different doors either by employing the gripper of the arm, or by using special tools. The robot is equipped with a bright headlight for operations inside dark buildings and in the night. The robot is controlled by a single operator. Augmented reality goggles provide the operator with a clear picture from wherever the robot is, and a joystick enables the operator to control the motion of the robot and its arm. It usually takes less than a day for a new operator to master the process. The robot is lightweight and fits in a backpack that can be carried to a disaster area by its operator. The engineer easily fits inside trunks of a regular passenger car. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website.